Welcome to Make Easy. In this specific video, I'm going to explain you about pattern printing. This is the third video of pattern printing. You can follow my previous videos to understand it better. So I'm going to explain you about this patterns. Two patterns are here. How to print this pattern using the for loop with a step-by-step -step process in very easiest way. So in my previous video, I explained you how you can use left dollar function to print the pattern. Now in this video, I'm going to use right dollar function to print the pattern. So going to use left dollar, I've already explained in the previous video. Now in this video, we're going to use right dollar function. And in the next video, I'll explain you in which condition you can use mid dollar. Okay, so let's start. You can see your pattern. First of all, you can see an EPL. This is the string we are using in this pattern printing. And position of the string is available here and is available at first position is available at second position this is the third fourth and fifth there are five characters and these are the position one two three four five position of the string now in the pattern you can see l l l l l in every string or sub string you can see or in the pattern you can see the last character that is available l we have this last character and this is what right hand side you can check your hands this is right hand side and this one is left hand side so every time what you can see we can see l that is available at right hand side l l l l l in every sub string so in this type of condition you have to use right dollar function so how we can do that first of all if you want to print l from this nepl what you can write look a dollar equals to nepal this is for a string and now i want to print only l from this string this NEPL, I want to print only L that is available at right side. So what I can write is print right dollar. This is the function and A dollar from which string I want to print uh, from this string NEPL because A dollar contain NEPL and only one character from right hand side only one character because we are using right dollar. So this is right hand side and from A dollar only one character from right hand side means this is L. So L will be printed next time. What I want, I want AL. AL means from right hand side two characters. First one is L and second one is A. So what I can write here is right dollar A dollar comma two from right side only two characters that is L A. When it is printed, it will be printed as AL like this. Now right dollar A dollar comma three from A dollar from right hand side only three one two three so that will be PL. PL will be printed and next time 4 so it will be EPAL because the 4 means from right hand side 1 2 3 4 so EPAL and then last time 5 that means and from right hand side 1 2 3 4 5 so Nepal will be printed at the last and end of the program so every time when you want to print the pattern just write it down in this way without using the for loop and then after that you can use for loop to write the same code in this first pattern, you can see number is changing from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So using for loop, we can do that for i equals to 1 to 5. So in the place of this 1, I will write here i and we can do that. Next one, let's say this one. Let's write a code for this first one. The value is changing, that is from first one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So one by one, it is changing. So I can use for loop. So let me write CLS and then store the value that is a dollar equals to what we want is Nepal. Okay, now I will use your for loop for i equals to 1, 2, 5. Why 1 to 5? Because in this pattern you can see number is changing from starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's why I'm writing here 1 to 5. And then what I want to print, print which function I'm using now, write dollar, write dollar bracket a dollar comma. Now Shall I write here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or I will write in the place of this number i because i value will be changed every time. First of all, i value will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In this way, it will work. So I'm writing here 1, sorry, i. So i value will be 1 first time and then when we go to the next i, i value will be 2, then 3 and 4 like that. So let me end the program. This is a simple program to print that pattern. Let me run. First time i value will be 1, so print right dollar a dollar comma i that means l 
second time i value will be 2 next time means i equals to i plus 1 so i value will be incremented and the control will go to the for loop i value will be 2 then 2 means write dollar a dollar 2 from right hand side 2 characters so that will be al first second so al will be printed next time 3 4 5 in this way it will print the pattern now let's see the next one in next pattern also we have l l l l l that is the last character or right hand side character is available in every service string or every pattern so we can use right dollar first time what we can see here is a dollar comma five because from right hand side i want to print five characters so a dollar comma five nepal will be printed next time i want only epal from right hand side only four characters that means this is right hand side or you can see here one two three four epal will be printed next time what we want epal so in the same way three characters pal two characters al and then one so in this one you can see five four three two one in the descending order starting from five up to one so in the for loop what we can do here is let's change the value starting from five up to one and this is descending order from greatest value to smallest value so i will write here step minus one because first time i value will be five and second time what we want is i value will be four so i'm writing a step minus one first time five four three two one it will go in this way so let me run the program and let's see whether it is working or not so yeah as expected any pl epl pl al and n so in this way it works hope you understand the video in the place of this you can write any your choice it will print e v e r you can write any character or a string it will print in the same format let's say e r e s t and then e r e s t e s t s t t so how many characters are there one two three four five six seven so there are seven so i will start from seven and then i will go up to one step minus one every time so it will print e v r e s t then e v v r e s t r e s t and then e s t s t n t in this way it works how many characters are there depending upon that you have to write in this format and after writing that you will know starting from which number up to which number so you can do the program thank you for watching hope you understood this concept if you understand please like this video subscribe my channel and if you have any confusion please comment below and in the next video i'll explain you how to use mid dollar function to do all types of pattern printing thank you have a great day